Welcome back everyone. We are back and today we're actually going to be taking a look at Windows GSM and a new plugin for the front. So if you uh, are a fellow poster and you've had issues with uh, running your own server, uh, this should help you out on um, the front. And uh, if you've not heard of Windows GSM, head over here to windowsgsm.com. You're going to want to download it, install it, right here, download it, okay? So basically, Windows GSM allows you to install a multiple, uh, many, many different types of game servers. And not only that, but allows you to control them through Discord. So if you want to stop, you're at home, you're, you're wherever, you're far away, and you want to stop your server and start it you want to stop it and update it and start it back up you can control all this from discord from your own discord bot so check check out windows gsm i'm not going to go too many uh too much into details um on how to configure everything for windows uh, gsm but it's pretty simple and then so it comes for support with uh a lot of games by default but then there's another thing which is uh, there's multiple more plugins that developers provide. So if you check out their Discord, I will provide links for all of this in the description. They, you can make plugin requests. So as long as the server, the server, the game has a dedicated server files, uh, they can make a plugin for it, or at least the Forest the RS2, and so on. And the one that's going to interest us the most right now is the front. Okay, so it's gonna we're gonna install Windows GSM. We're gonna come here. You're gonna download the latest release. Download it here. You will get a download right here. You're gonna want to extract it. All right, you can replace files because I've already extract, extracted it. And then you have a README and a front CS. Um, I recommend reading the instructions on how to, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, just follow the instructions here on how to set up your ports. Okay, this file, the server INI file, will be created after you start the server the first time. Okay? And then you can put in all this information. The first time you start it, it's going to create one. And it'll basically have, I think, only uh, the mail input here. And then you can add. So if you've had a previous server and you want to just port it over, literally just copy all your settings from here and uh, post them in the um, config for the new server that you created under Windows GSM. So you download the plugin. So we have the plugin, right? We've downloaded it here. We're going to want to copy the front CS copy. You're going to want to head back to um, wherever you have it. This is a virtual machine that I have it hosted on. So you're going to want to um, Copy it to the server install. So I have Windows GSM installed here. If we go here, there's a folder called plugins, and you're just literally going to paste your plugin here. All right. This is some other servers I have. This is the configuration you're going to want to have. So here, this they just recently added this today as the day that I'm recording it, uh, the 19th of October. 2023 and then you can add the minus uh server admin accounts and here it's going to be your uh, your uh steam id okay so your 64 um uh, what is it he says it here it's your steam id 64 okay and if you have more than one admin you're going to put yours here then a comma and then here to install, very simple. You're going to want to first 
come here to the plugin icon, click it, import plugin. You can either go to where you downloaded it, or you can do reload plugins, and it'll reload because you put it in that plugins folder. So you can see these are the plugins I've downloaded for some servers. Here's the one we want, the front. And then you're going to want to install your server. You're going to go to servers, install game server. You're going to scroll down until you find uh, the front. You're going to name this name is going to be your server name when it displays in game. So you're just going to put your, your server name, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to hit install. You're going to wait, be patient. It's going to install. Okay. So after you set up, you go here, you edit your config and you edit those lines. So this one to it. Okay. You are going to want to start the server. Okay. Once you start the server, let it start up and then stop it. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to go to, you're going to select your server from here. You're going to go to browse server files the front manager and it's going to create a server config INI. Now this is the one you're going to want to edit. I've removed personal uh, information from here and I'm going to show you the copy of it where I've removed. So you're going to want to edit the server config INI and then here you want to put all your information, your server name, your ports, your steam ID here as well if you want followed by a comma if you have more than one, but I'm pretty sure it's reading all from here from the edit config. So no longer need to run a bat file. It's it's reading all from the server uh, I and I. If you're wondering, um, the amazing person who created this is, let me see if I can get you the name because he is absolutely amazing. Uh, I know him as Iponet. And Iponet, if you go onto the Windows GSM Discord, he's on there. Uh, say thank you. Really nice guy. Worked with me uh, with this, going over everything. Um getting it to read from the INI, uh, getting the Windows, um, the manager to recognize your Steam ID so you could access everything. Simply, this guy is five stars. He deserves a big thank you. Uh, so you just set all your settings here, right? And then you start. And that's it. Now, if you want to configure your server through Discord, if you want to configure your Discord, these are the commands. So I have multiple Windows GSM. Okay, so mine, I put a bot prefix of two. So whenever I put the command into the channel that I'm using, right? It will, um, take that to WGSM. So read into it. Uh, you can add multiple admins. Um, so there's multiple, you're going to need a, a bot token. So read about that. That's not something I'm going to cover today. And then what you can do is. Give me a moment. I'll go show you guys what this will look like. So drag this over and we're going to do 2WGSM list and there you have it so the server is called life's house right and it's id2 and if i want the top to stop it w uh 2 wgsm if you just have one version of wgsm you don't need to have the number two it's just something that i set here as the prefix for the bot because i have multiple running okay so 2 wgsm and you would type stop Two, and it would stop it and if you wanted to update it you would type 2 or just WGSM update 
two, and it would start it. And every time you do this, so let's let's I'll give you an example. Stop two, and it's gonna stop. Give it a few seconds for the bot to wakey wakey. You can see here it's stopping. So as soon as it's stopped, it'll update in your Discord channel. So clearly you have your own private channels. They don't have to be um, they don't have to be public. And then here we go. So two WGSM. If I wanted to update, I'd tap update two. But we want to start server two. So start two. And as you can see here, it's starting. And when it's done, it'll say server ID started. And there's a whole bunch of other commands. You can do stats so you can see server information. You can list, restart. You can do backups. Everything from Discord. So this is an amazing plugin. And the server install is so complicated. Like this, not including the manager. If you've been through this frustration, it is so so frustrating to set this thing up beyond belief okay and this just simplifies it if you're a windows if you're running under a windows os and you want to be able to support the server you want to be able to manage the server through your discord you got discord on your phone wherever you are in the world you can do it so check it out if you have any questions um hit me up uh leave me a comment I will uh, try to answer as best as possible. Again, there's also a Windows um, GSM Discord. Check them out. Show them some love. Show them support. All these games you can control through Discord. You don't have to. And a lot of them support other plugins, like actual game plugins. Okay? So check it out. If you got any questions, um, if I missed anything, sorry. I will be uh, doing a next video on the front. Uh, I've been progressing ever since the, the last video. Again, I really appreciate your support. We did get over 500 views uh, on the last video. Uh, truly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.